partnering with the Million Dollar Teacher Program to help provide teachers with the supplies they need for their classrooms, and you can help out too. You know, we always hear about people reaching into their own pockets always, and spending always. hundreds of dollars before uh, they go back to school. So we don't want our teachers to do that. You can help by going to Scottsdale Fashion Square. Hi, Jess. You're right, 500 to $1,000 is what some teachers spend on their own supplies. It's so unfair, I can't believe they do that. Okay, and when you come out here, I wanna introduce you to some of the cutest volunteers that you're gonna meet. We have Michelle, Jessica, and Haley. Tell me what schools you're a part of. Madden Point High School, Betty H. Fairfax, Arizona Agribusiness and Equine Center. This is such a cool program. Why did you guys decide to volunteer? You're giving up your weekends. We wanted to give back to our teachers and we found that this was an amazing opportunity for us to be a part of. Now one of the gals who created this beautiful tree is Lucy. You're an ASU student. Tell me about your tree. All right, so this tree uh, initially started as a class project actually through Arizona State University's Next Generation Service Corps program. Um, basically through that program, they devised the idea of the tree uh, while working with a uh, million dollar teacher project. And then over the past two, three years or so, they've been working to bring it to life. And I've been so grateful for the opportunity to participate. You know, it's not always... Um, easy to find ways to really give back through um, my major which is theater design and production and to give so, back to teachers we exactly. love our teachers because it's teachers that have taught me uh, they that's how I've gotten where I am and that's the knowledge the knowledge that they've given me has allowed me to build that tree so being able to continue to build on that program and now having made two trees it's it's just phenomenal to be able to see what good can come from it as well that is so awesome thank you so the brainchild behind this program his name is Lloyd you started this about three years ago and I want to bring in principal Alexis as well because this means so much to the teachers in the community now this year um, the trees and all the donations are going to one specific school yep so this year all the donations are going to Pima traditional school that's here in Scottsdale our goal with the teacher tree is for this to be a, the, the opportunity for the community to participate in, su in supporting educators and reducing the expense of buying classroom supplies. So we wanted to pick a school that was near Scottsdale Fashion Square where the drive is going on at and, we, and I have an amazing partner in Alexis who is also as passionate as we are about supporting her teachers so it's a really good fit. Alexis, this is the first year that you guys have been a part of it, and you're so excited. Absolutely. Our teachers do. They give so much money all the time for their students and for their classrooms, and to be able to have the community come in and support us and have these other partnerships support us, too, so our teachers can save that is fabulous. And when you told them, hey, this year you might not have to buy your own supplies, what did they say? They were so thrilled. They couldn't believe it. They could not believe it. And when Lloyd came in to talk to them, they were just ecstatic, and they really couldn't. They said, are you sure this is really happening? Or can you pinch me and make sure this is absolutely true? <laughs> I bet. Now, how many apples are on the tree. Yep, so we were supporting 23 teachers this school year. So there's about 90 apples total because each teacher has about three uh, three wishes. So they get three apples. A red one for their supplies, a yellow one for their uh, professional development or training wishes, and a, a green one for their aspirational wish. And what if an apple doesn't get picked? You already thought of that. I already thought of it. We <laughs> want to make sure every teacher gets supported. So on August 10th at Dave & Buster's, we're also doing a, uh, a, a an additional supply drive where people can bring in supplies and we're bringing in volunteers to stuff teacher kits um, and then those supplies will also go to Pima Traditional School to make sure every teacher gets something this school year. Very good. Such a good idea and Channel 3 is so proud to be a part of this program as well. Now you can do this now through August 4th. Come on down, pick an apple, go buy the supplies and then you come back here to drop it off and they're going to be open down here with the volunteers that you saw from Thursday through Sunday through August 4th and then for more information of course go to arizonafamily.com this seems like a no-brainer yeah, seems like it should have been done program. a 